uh, back in a moment with something really remarkable with regard to cancer patients and how eating well can really change things. Eight years ago, Fabian Navidi Kazmai was diagnosed with cancer, and with that, all the other problems. He lost his appetite, nothing tasted the way it used to before he got sick. And so finding foods that he could actually eat was critical. He needed to eat to stay strong and beat this thing. And he did. And now Fabian and his mom are using their experience and their success, of course, to help other people do the same. Sanjay's back right now with this story in today's Human Factor. Fabian Navidi Kazmai is what you'd call an old soul. He's always been advanced. When he was 10, he won a writing contest that gave him an opportunity to interview First Lady Laura Bush. He's been constantly challenging himself. But at age 11, Fabian faced his biggest challenge of all. He was diagnosed with stage 3 Hodgkin's lymphoma. And then it becomes like a blur, you know? It's just tests and all kinds of scans and... They put me in surgery. His mother, Danielle Navidi, watched Fabian go from a happy, healthy boy to a very sick child. There's no greater nightmare. He was left more ill as a result of the treatments. You know, the rebuilding was such a journey, uh, getting him back, his strength back, and his health back. With chemotherapy and radiation treatments, Fabian began to lose his appetite. His mother became frustrated, looking for new ways to feed her son. The things he used to like no longer tasted any good. So Danielle kept experimenting with foods, cooking things he would eat, but were also healthy for him so he could fight the cancer. It still boils down to the fact that you can do it or you can't do it. And we're going to do it. So we got to do it the best way we can. It's been nearly 10 years since Fabian's diagnosis. And after a year of treatment and countless follow-up visits, he remains cancer-free. Do you like blueberries? His mom is now a certified nutritionist who teaches other families how to cook healthy meals that taste good for children who have cancer. Some of her recipes can now be found in a cookbook entitled Happily Hungry, which Danielle and Fabian collaborated on because there's so very little information available to help children with cancer eat healthier during their treatment. You have to look at it as an opportunity to rebuild them in the best way possible. The book is full of colorful recipes designed with the child in mind. Each is categorized by a symptom describing why each recipe is important. The Davides hope the dishes will help children get well, just like they did for Fabian. Today, Fabian is a senior at Temple University in Philadelphia, studying film. He is back to challenging himself by graduating from college next May at the age of 19. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, CNN.